What's good? It's Dean of Daniel. The Rubik's Clock is the most diverse event in the WCA by a long shot, and today, I'm gonna give you 10 fun facts that you may or may not have known. So, let's get started. The Rubik's Clock was invented by Christopher Wiggs and Christopher Taylor. Hungarian architect Erno Rubik bought the patent from the two to market the product under his name. The puzzle was first patented and marketed on September 26, 1988. The puzzle soon rose in popularity when it was introduced into the batch of World Cube Association events in early 2004 with the 3x3, 4x4, Magic, and other puzzles. Looking at the puzzle itself, there are only 14 independent clocks on the puzzle, and with 12 different settings for each individual clock, there would be 1 quadrillion, 283 trillion, 918 billion, 464 million, 548,864 total possible scramble combinations, and that's without the pins. God's number for a clock, or the max amount of moves it takes to solve it, is 12, according to Jack Cube from the Speed Solving Forum who proved it. As of January 2021, the current world record for official clock average goes to Yin Hao Lu from China with a 3.86 average, and Suen Ming Chi from Hong Kong holds the fastest single with a 3.29 solve. As of right now, only three Rubik's clocks are available for purchase at any online cubing store. The infamous Lingao Magic Clock, the Shangxiao Magnetic, and the best of the three, the Qi Yi Magnetic. Other versions of this puzzle exist, such as the Baitai Magic Clock Puzzle, the Angstrom Temporis, and the original Rubik's Clock, but are pretty hard to find as they are currently discontinued. Even though the Rubik's Clock lacks sister counterparts, Baron Wong custom made a Rubik's Clock Pyramid, a 2x2 and 4x4 version of the puzzle. And this cuber right here somehow created an insane Siamese clock. Unfortunately, none of these puzzles are mass produced. Very few clock simulators exist, and those that do aren't very good quality. But there is a free app on iOS or Android called the Puzzle Clock, which lets you have a fun virtual experience with the puzzle. There are a number of methods to solving this puzzle. The basic method by Stefan Popman is the most prominent, where you build a cross on one side and flip the clock to complete the other. Cephalra's method is lesser known, but it works, and there is even a mathematical solution found on Chris Egermont's page. One interesting concept created by TARDIS fan on the Instructables Living website created the only Rubik's clock consisting of Legos about nine whole years ago. So, if you have any studs and gears lying around, I suggest you give this fun build a try and revive this legendary concept. You thought that was a cool concept? On the museum page of twistypuzzles.com, I discovered that even more custom variants of the Rubik's Clock exist, besides the average 2x2, 4x4, and pyramid. Here are some examples. The Intelligence Compass, which is a rounded square variant of the original clock, the 3x3 Clock Plus, and the 6 on Star Clock made by Zhan Chiang Li, the Hex Clock made by Dong Yi, and my favorite out of the bunch, the custom Ghost Clock made by Rex Rosano Perez. Oh, what I'd give for any one of these puzzles to be mass-produced. Researching these topics was a lot of fun, and I learned so many new things about this unique puzzle along the way. I hope you learned something new from this video. All of my sources are in the description if you want to learn more, and this is Dean of Daniel. I'll see you in the next one.